Tannehill to throw on the first play. Out route looking for McLaurin. He's got him. And he'll be out right at the 35. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved. Able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's. Because you know a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Tannehill flush to his right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. luxury to have, isn't he? Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chest exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. On second down, here's Barkley. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to throw, Tannehill. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. This is brought in at the 21. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. First and 10 at the 31 yard line. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. So, CD, here we are. You look at how well this offense has played all year 16 and 0. Now, in most years, they'd be at home right now enjoying time off for their perfect season, getting ready for the postseason. But this is the decade in the 2020, so that means 17 games are what's needed to get to a perfect season. Will a win here make them an all timer for you? It will. It absolutely will. Three wins made them a Super Bowl champion, so they were 17 and 0 total. Imagine getting through 17 now, and then continuing on and winning the Super Bowl. They're an all-time team already for me. 
And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Fielded just inside the 20. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. As the season winds down and you look at them in totality, you know, the offense has struggled. The defense has been pretty good, so I would imagine the changes this offseason may be more on the offensive side of the ball. And this is where we always hear the term complimentary football because, as you noted, the defense has played well enough for them to win games, and the offense has held them back. So they've got to reward that defense by improving on offense. I don't know if you make a change of quarterback, running back, tight end. It doesn't matter. Get better players, better system, so they can play to the standards of the defense, and the win column will result. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Now it's Tannehill. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Tannehill. That's complete to Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. To throw is Tannehill. Steps away to his left. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner Tress Way on to punt the football. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. This is taken at about the 14. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the NFC. On the other side, you got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But when we mentioned that to the coaches, they were having no part of it. Yeah, and I like how you said Start the drive, has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Zeke going to get it on the option. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 
Now, these two teams you might remember met earlier in the year in Arlington with the Cowboys winning that ball game. So they're looking for another win here in Washington to take the season sweep. From just shy of midfield, Prescott finding Tolbert here over the middle. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 28. That one goes for 24 yards. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. And this is caught inside the five. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. Elliott will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Again, it's Elliott. But he will go backwards as he stopped for a loss. The loss of a yard leads to a third down. plays having gone backwards from the shotgun it's Prescott they're looking for Lamb but it's intercepted picked off by Benjamin St. Juice he's at the 50 and the defense Charles they bit a little bit but they did not break and then on third and goal there the huge interception I think of the momentum they're carrying with them right now Brandon because in their mind whether they want to admit it or not they were conceding three points. Their goal was to keep them out of the end zone, not give up a touchdown. Instead, they give up nothing. What a big-time play and a big-time stop by them. After the interception, here's Tannehill. That's complete to his receiver, McClure. And he'll be brought down at the 27. And one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll try the right side here, Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. From the 25 on second down, Tannehill looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. It's Barkley on the counter. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. And Sam Williams bringing him down that time. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Quick, quick, quick. 
Here's Tannehill. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Anthony Barr in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. This from 42 yards out. Sly able to put this one through. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. It looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the play did on the last one. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going? He'll fire deep downfield from Lamb. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. To throw on second and 10, Prescott. Fires a slam, completes it's over. On the move past the 40. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 38-yard line. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And again, it's Prescott. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. From the 31, Prescott. Back to Elliott, and he's got him again. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. From the red zone now, Prescott. And he's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dalton Schultz in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. 
And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Off play action, Tannehill. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try to win this ball game. That is caught by Lamb. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where the primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. On second and nine, Prescott. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense leads into the challenge and slamming back on the seat. We're seeing some really powerful defenses. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And this is caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But Dak Prescott, probably not the first name you think of in terms of strongest arms in the NFL, but he showed it off there. And he made that look effortless, didn't he? I mean, he's had a great game throwing the football. This is going to add to his yardage total in a big way. It's one thing to be accurate on your short and intermediate throws, but when you're hitting the bombs like those, look out. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with now 15 rushing touchdowns on the year. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. 
And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Now the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really... Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. But such a costly interception, nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is and oftentimes is successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception... And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A great effort there with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. There go, there out there, go. set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On second and inches, Tannehill flushed out right. And Tannehill's got the first as he slides to a halt. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. When nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Now Tannehill. That's Samuel caught left side. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. And give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. From the 50, it's Tannehill. Trying to find Barkley on the out route, and he's got him. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. 
they become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Barkley with a carry on first down, and he'll get about four. So second and six, forthcoming. Oftentimes, we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with a run in the past. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Well, partner, they certainly played up to their top 10 defensive ranking this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided because of their efforts, and there's still a quarter to go. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has And we'll begin it with a field goal try here. From the right hash, this from 33. Sly able to put this one through, and that will close the gap down to 14. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there and playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. On second and 11 now. Prescott got his man complete over the middle. That's Elliott. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. So the pitch and catch good for 11. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. They'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Tobert. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. From the 36, Prescott. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. And the Commanders are right back in this football game. When he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. They begin with a run by Barkley. He'll get this up to about the 44. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Barr. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Lambeau on for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here we go. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles and when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day they'll fake the handoff now Tannehill and that is incomplete and that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall it's been a blowout it's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for Washington. Forty yards on the punt, two on the return, and they will take over first and ten. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Second and 11 now. Prescott, quick slant. He's got Elliott. 
and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good, solid there again, just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Well, business as usual for them, well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season, but in this one, well, their defense has really struggled. Second down, here's Barkley again. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. They'll go to Barkley again. 80 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open, now second down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Play action, it's Tannehill. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Tannehill intercepted again. And he's going to go down as time has now run out on this game. This was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brad, I think that the 